What's going on everyone? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom and today we're going to be viewing this brand new 2022 Coachman Catalina Summit Series by the 184 BHS. If you're in the market for an RV that needs to sleep possibly seven or eight, maybe even more, and you got a smaller vehicle to pull with, the new Summit Series may be one to consider. One air conditioner, one slide, even an outdoor kitchen. And for all of my viewers that like to know, can you still access the refrigerator or even the restroom without letting the one small slide out? You possibly could. You will have access to the refrigerator. If you're a smaller person, you could possibly squeeze by to gain access to the restroom. But we're going to start on the outside of the coach going over the different weights, the specs, and dimensions before heading inside. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started. Coming at you 23 feet, one inch in length, with one total slide. This is 2022 Coachman Catalina Summit Series, model 184 BHS. BH stands for bunkhouse, so sleeping room for six or seven, really depending on the size of your guest. Dry weight as this model currently sits at 4,202 pounds. And speaking of weight, here on the ball of your truck, 492 pounds. So make sure you're within the load and tow capacity of your vehicle before purchasing this model here. Here on the main side of the coach, 15 foot electric awning. And Catalina gives you a multicolor LED awning LED light underneath there. And it does run the entire length of the awning. I do not have them on at the moment, but it is up there. Two outdoor speakers. This model has the camp kitchen. The suburban griddle hooks directly to the propane found underneath here. That is not a 12 volt refrigerator. This must be plugged into shore power in order for it to work. What a cool little camp kitchen, outdoor griddle. More additional storage, plus you have the bottle opener. There's a quick shot of some of the storage inside of here. This model was stabilized with only two scissor jacks. You've got the electric tongue jack in the front with two scissor jacks found on the back of the model. Coming around to the back, you're going to have the 4x4 tubular bumper, which is great for storing all of your sewer lines and your water line. That's going to be a blindside camera prep. Easy to mount. They're really simple, but we can't do those for you here at Camper Kingdom. Six gallon gas or electric hot water heater found on the back with this really cool spray nozzle. Still giving you plenty of water over your camp kitchen. But these things can extend upwards of 10 to 15 feet in length helping you definitely assist with washing maybe the dog or the kids after a long day on the beach. And I just have it right now attached to this leash link. Pet friendly coach. Coming around to the other side, sewer connections on this coach, you're only, only gonna have one. Found right back here behind the tower, tire. That is your shore power cord. This one's gonna be about 25 feet in length. Pretty good decent size cord, 30 amps. And again, sewer connections, you've only got one gray and black handle located here. And once you're done camping, go ahead and take all your sewer lines and your water lines, tucking them inside of your 4x4 tube of the bumper, keeping them nicely stored and organized. Electric slide, coming around to the front, give you a quick shot of some of the storage on the coach. Pass through storage. Baggage doors are magnetic latches to hold them up. They're not slam latches, but they still do a really great job. About an inch thick there. Gonna go ahead and head inside. Here inside model 184 BHS, Murphy bed in the front, have it closed up right now, but the dimensions on the Murphy bed are 60 by 74 whenever it's let completely out. Seating arrangement right now, just more of a jackknife sofa. You have additional storage found underneath. We're gonna open this up both together to see how easy or difficult that could possibly be. So jackknife sofa first, step one is to lay this flat. Just lift up the bottom, that will lay flat down like that. Step two, pull the pin, laying down the platform of the bed, exposing that nice big queen size bed. It does fold in half, so there could be some downside to that. Tell me down below what you think that seam would do to your back after a long night's sleep. USB chargers found on both sides of the bed, but on this side, there is a 110 outlet with a decent amount of maybe space for a cell phone or a CPAP machine. 
More additional storage found over the bed there. Coming around to the kitchen area, Formica countertops, and these are these are going to have the I call these a press membrane. Hard plastic wrapped over all the counter edges, preventing it from swelling when making contact with any water. High rise residential faucet. Two eye gray stone burner. You have the microwave found down below. And that yellow piece of paper is blocking the furnace on this coach. 12 volt GE brand 10 cubic foot refrigerator does work off the vehicle power. And they've also carried over the GE brand to the air conditioner. Roof mounted GE brand 13.5 air. All the controls are up there. So we're just going to dump all the air in its one place. 60 by 74 double over double bunk in the back that can be closed off for a little privacy with the curtain provided and you do have some additional storage space underneath coming around to the u-shaped booth that will lay flat to a bed in reference to size when laid flat about the size of a full-size bed notice you do have a step up to get into the booth though you're looking at about 14 inches to step up but the seats are about cheek level so you're just kind of sliding right in there accordion style blinds they're not blackout shades you can kind of still see through them that nice big toy hauler on the other side of there 80 inch ceiling height inside of the uh, catalina here so in the shower you've got about maybe a 12 inch step up to get into this two-piece plastic shower additional shelving provided but once you're in the shower you're going to be if you're over six feet your head will definitely be touching you do have a vent up top medicine cabinet and there is more of those press membrane countertops with that plastic sink there. We're going to go ahead and take this Murphy bed now and turn it into the seating arrangement just to show you guys how much seating room and move about space you'll have. So I've gone ahead and closed the Murphy bed and laid flat the sleeper booth to show you how much sleeping room you'd possibly have. Sleeping room possibly for six or seven, really depending on the size of your guests. And in relation to size, it's not quite as big as a queen, but definitely bigger than a full size mattress. I also failed to point out the TV location. Connections for about a 23 inch TV found on the wall, but be careful when mounting a TV. You want to make sure you're not going to protrude past the slide operations causing damage to your TV. For pricing and availability, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Leave me a thumbs up. It definitely does help out more than you know. For questions or comments, leave them in the comments section down below. But at the time I'm making a video, MSRP of $30,472. Like, subscribe, leave me a thumbs up. It definitely does help. Come see us.